everyone welcome to Dada's food craft kitchen featuring cooking beauty lifestyle and more in this video i am going to show you guys how to make the most delicious and juiciest scotch egg and more the main video is to make the scotch egg but i am going to show you alongside what goes along with it that will be like almost like an extra bonus so if you guys are interested and you are new to my channel and this is the first time you are tuning into my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because that's the only way you're going to know when I upload a new video. And there's also something I wanted to mention. Somebody commented on one of my videos. They asked me if I can speak Wolof in my video. I actually was very excited and very appreciative that that person mentioned that. Although, as you all know, or some may know me, I am an Aku girl from Banjul, Gambia. And my, my Wolof is not that clean, but I can speak Wolof. So I'm going to do my best to kind of mix it up, you know, speak a little bit of English and speak a little bit of Wolof in my video. It's not going to be easy, but I will try my best. And I thank that person for mentioning that because like I said, I was actually thinking of doing that. But I, I know it wouldn't be fair for me to just speak Wolof in the video because I have some people who who don't understand Wolof and most people in Gambia obviously they can speak English of course they understand English so if I do speak English in my video they'll be under, able to understand it but also um but for people who are my subscribers who don't know who don't understand Wolof or Jolof I mean it will be hard for them to understand what I'm saying in Wolof so I'm gonna do my best to try to um you know mix it up Maybe say a little bit of words here in English and a little bit of words here in Wolof. But without any further ado, if you guys are interested in seeing how I make this delicious, juiciest um, scotch egg, please stay tuned. And without any further ado, let's get cooking. All right, to make my scotch egg, I am going to use ground turkey meat. You can use ground beef if you want, but I decided to use ground turkey meat. So I'm already cracked in two eggs in a bowl for my wash, egg wash. And now I'm gonna use some breadcrumbs, black pepper. I'm also gonna use some already made french fries. If you wanna use fresh potatoes, go ahead and cut fresh potatoes and just fry it and make your own french fries. So now I'm gonna use vermicelli noodles. I purchased mine on Amazon. If you guys can check your local grocery store, which in my city here, I found it in a local grocery store of mine. So you can check it out and see if you can find any. Then I'm also gonna use two bell peppers, one yellow and one red, two onions, one and a half, almost one and a half because the one is bigger. And I'm also gonna use some garlic and some habanero pepper. You can use scotch bonnet. And I'm also gonna use onion powder and bouillon seasoning. You can use any bouillon seasoning you have. <coughs> I'm also going to use some, I mean it's not so fresh parsley, it's frozen because it was a leftover, and garlic and habanero pepper. You also need some flour and hard boiled eggs, which I already boiled the eggs and I took the shell off the eggs. I'm using 8 eggs in this recipe, you can use as much eggs as you want. Just boil the eggs and take the shell off. So these are all the ingredients all laid out for the recipe that I have in my video. So now I'm going to blend the parsley, the garlic and the habanero pepper. Then I'm going to add some black pepper, bouillon seasoning and blend it. If you don't have fresh parsley, fresh garlic and habanero pepper, go ahead and use powdered garlic, powdered onions and powdered um, parsley flakes so that should be fine and then you don't have to necessarily have to blend it in the blender you can just 
directly pour it in on the ground beef, on the ground turkey beef or ground meat. So then I'm just gonna add some of the ground turkey in the blender and blend it like so. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to do this this part. You can just use the dry seasoning and just rub it into, add it into the ground beef and mix it manually with your hands, which I'm gonna finish up mixing it manually with my hands. So so faking it, I'm gonna uh, fresh parsley, I'm gonna use um, onion powder, garlic powder, and, um, parsley flakes, and mix go, and mix go to um, fresh ground meat be, and turkey be, and mix go accent loho. Recipe, recipe be, the for near, the for, the for, the for easy pull, the so faking it. Um, Bougie ngin ko def ngin for ngin top uh, um, recipe be step by step. So after that, I remove it from the blender. Like I said, you can manually just mix all the seasoning on the ground beef and mix it with your hand. Now, if you have a blender like this, like the Ninja blender, you want to be very careful with the blade because it's very very sharp. Ninja Blender is very, very powerful. So then you're going to mix it again like so and add two tablespoons of flour. And then add four in, nyari kudu flour, four in, two, two, two tablespoons of uh, flour, which is, we call in Gambia, four in. And then add uh, four in chi yapa bing and mix ko. And then add seasoning bo hamente nini mom gen muga use chi recipe being and def correct ning ning and kobuga def pumusaf and def correct. You add seasoning to your own taste and that's fine. So you mix it really well until it's well combined. Like so. You don't need a lot of flour, just add a little bit of flour and mix it so that this will help the, um, when you get ready to add the eggs, it will help it um, stick pretty good. So I needed a little bit of salt, so I added salt, like I said, add salt and seasoning to your own taste. Yoka na horom bututi nak paskida ma bugon safuton horom nono, so ma yoka o horom. So ngen like I said ngen def correct ngen ko buga def bem saf nim nim ngen ko buge ngen buge mu saf re ngen def ko nono So now you want to make sure the egg is dry tap dry with a paper towel until it's completely dry Now you're going to coat it on the flour and then put some ground beef on the palm one palm of your hand Whichever hand you want to use to put the ground beef, you press it down flat like so. You can use as much, but not too much. You don't want it to be really thick because you want the meat to <coughs> you want the meat to be thoroughly cooked. So you don't want to make it too thick and too heavy. But you want to make sure it's it's covered really good with the um, the eggs is covered really good with the meat. So solen ko defe ni rek bulen ko def bim 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 tik torop paski solen ko defe bim tik bim maga 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 mag du du fry bu ba te yapa bi du nyor te yapa bi bu nyoru te rek du ba te sen bir bi dina meti So just make it as thin as you can but also cover make sure the eggs is fully covered Wow So then you um Rub it on a flour like so. You coat it on the flour and then put it, we'll put it in the egg wash and then add it on the breadcrumbs and then coat it on the breadcrumbs. So ngen def kochi foring bi tu ti bi pare ngen def kochi nen bi ni nen bi ngen hamen inteni ni mix ngen koni ngen add kochi nen bi bi pare def kochi breadcrumbs bi breadcrumbs bi muru bu bu mokar bu mokar la rek ngen def kono no. Then you coat it on the breadcrumbs and voila, and that's how you coat the scotch egg. 
there's another way in making there's different ways in making scotch egg and if you guys are interested in me making the other version without having to need any breadcrumbs and having to have actually fry it if you want to stay away from a lot of frying food let me know i will show you there's another version where you don't need no breadcrumbs you don't need to actually fry it all you have to do is just steam it but this recipe calls for you frying it or bake it you could actually bake it instead of fry it but the other method you will not even need to coat it with any breadcrumbs you just do it and and steam it like i said if you guys are interested in me showing you this the steam method just leave a comment down below i will be more than happy to show you guys the steam method so you repeat the same steps like so so ningen ngen ko def rek bem be ngen neka di repeat step bi rek be ngen pare nima ko defé ni ci video bi non rek ngen ko def like a share bu len ko def bem 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 tik torop su tiké torop yapp bi bare torop def so len ko fraye yapp bi du ñor té ngen make sure rek sen sen diwlin bi tangu torop da ngen buga def rek yapp bi mu toga bem ñor Wow, dul bi bi na ta dulin bi na tanga way bum tanga torop parce que su tangé torop da fa da fa tela brown be paré yap bi ci bi du du ñor so you repeat the steps like so as i'm doing you coat it on the flour put it on the egg wash and then coat it on the bread crumbs and like i said don't make it too too thick because you want the meat to be thoroughly cooked because and then also don't make your oil too too hot if your oil is very very hot <coughs> it's going to be brown very quick and then the meat won't be thoroughly cooked inside and you want your meat to be thoroughly cooked inside you don't want to eat raw meat and if you happen to have too much ground beef and not having too much eggs you can just make a ball of the ground beef and and without the eggs inside and just um, fry it so as you can see everything is done now i am going to now fry it in a hot oil so pare na ni nak legi dama dama ko fry ni rek ci doulin bi like i said bulen def sen doulin bi mu tanga torop doulin bi na tanga way bu tanga torop 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 su tangé torop then da fa tela brown bi pare ci bi du ñor da ngeen bëgga yapp bi mu ñor ci biir way na brown ci 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 biti way na yapp bi ñor the main thing na yapp bi ñor way bëgga ngeen mu brown tamit so the main thing is you want the meat to be thoroughly cooked inside and also brown in the outside the main thing is to have the meat cooked thoroughly inside and also have a very beautiful brown golden color in the outside but you want to make sure it's thoroughly cooked and if you guys want me to show you the other version of jo, the the steam egg um egg um scotch egg let me know you can actually bake this if you don't want to fry it feel free to bake it if you want to uh, bake it just put it on a baking rack and just bake it so you want to keep repeating the steps like so depending on how much you making And now I'm going to use my vermicelli noodles. I'm about to now make my vermicelli noodles. Like I said, you can find this online. Just type in vermicelli noodles and it will come up or you can check your local grocery store. I live in Pennsylvania, so obviously I purchase it on my you can I, I didn't purchase it on the look um, at the gross uh, local grocery store. I bought mine on Amazon, but I went in one of my local grocery store here in my city and I saw them. But they come in very very small packages. So now you want to add like two to three tablespoon of olive oil and mix it um, until it's well coated. So then you na yoke correct dulin bun tuti si vermicelli bing yen mix ko bim bim bahni be paring yen yen def ko chi inde bi or the steamer part. So then ame inde or steamer part yen def ko fa. So once the oil is coated like so you have water already boiling on your steamer pot and then add it 
in the boiling water and as soon as you add it in the boiling water you want to take it out right away like within a seconds you just want it to be a little moist with the with the boiling water I'm also using frozen vegetable it's optional if you don't want to use frozen vegetable that's fine as you can see I add it in the water and I'm gonna take it out immediately Immediately as I add it in the hot water, I'm taking it out immediately. So then do the very myself is in the um bahbe. Ngen gene ko right away within a second ngen gene ko bulen ko fa bay bem ba bem ba. So ngen gene correct ngen def ko chi in the bi ngen spread ko ni out. You spread it out immediately as you took it out from the boiling water and then steam it for like 15 minutes and the vermicelli will be ready Again, steam correct in the bee or send steam apart bit 15 minutes like in gene called vermicelli and then if you want to give the vermicelli a little bit of color just add sasson sasson seasoning anything that have or you can add food coloring powdered food coloring or you can just sprinkle a little bit of curry powder it's just to give it color. That's about it. Mun gena add curry powder. Pun gena def correct mu yellow mu am color bo rafet. That's what I'm doing right now, and then add my vegetable, frozen vegetable, on the vermicelli. Like I said, if you don't want to add frozen vegetable on the vermicelli, you could just leave it out, like, and and you don't have to worry about that. So fake ne bubble na. Your uh, veg uh, frozen vegetable being in bike. Why if they if they ne nak so add a vegetable be if if they if mu mu rafet be pare if they it's very healthy anyway. I'm gonna vegetable mom if a bah si si yarambi. So adding the frozen vegetable will give it a very very beautiful looking vermicelli and obviously vegetables are very healthy for us anyway. So in a hot oil, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, like half a cup of oil, slice some onions, bell pepper, habanero pepper, add lemon pepper, black pepper, and my garlic bay leaf, and add as much seasoning as you want into making the sauce. It's almost like making yasa sauce. So ngen defrek dulin butanga chip sigerbi, ngen def sen lignon, sen pobar. Sen pobar bunyul, sen laj, sen haram, jimbo, def korek, bim saf, bepareng yen add mustard. Then you also want to add mustard on this sauce. And do not add water when you're making this sauce. Bulen def bendok, chi sauce bini, yen bai korek, so len kote yerek, ak siger bi, bulen kote yerek. Again, bulen bulen def bendoh def men yang i toga yasa yasa kai mom man buguma yasa buah menteri yang kor toga mui ngai ngafa def doh sigir bicin doh bi mom mui toga yasa bi tadi nas saf benga ham menteri ni wow def as saf be bulen def bendoh don't add no water so lagi nak ma add semal light bi ag mustard again buka add mustard tu tu direct lekering def sen kani bu nyul black pepper and mustard and garlic and you can use any season you want into this dish to make it to your own liking now you want to keep stir frying it and cook it like i said do not add water bulen def ben dox si sauce bi ni bay len rek so len ko kubere na ndox bi ci sigir bi mu togo ko keep checking on it i'm adding bay leaf and some lemon pepper I pare nak mad add lemon pepper. So fe kene amulen lemon pepper lulu nak bah na. It's okay. Gen add mustard rek. Mun gen a yoke lemon bul two ti lemon rek. Or if you don't have lemon pepper, you can add some squeeze one lime in the sauce, and that should be fine. And please do not add water. Don't add water into your yasa. So now I'm just gonna. Um, put the french fries in the oven and let it brown. Pompiter, we don't call the French oven, we be be brown. So we can amulen frozen pompiter. Gen dog send pompiter, be right. Gen 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 fry, gen def send own french fries. And voila, this is the recipe. It's all ready. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Jerilyn Jeff. 
Um, so if you can uh, be my first time and set on some video, be able to fat to subscribe and hit the bell. Be. So then hit the bell. Be. Yen, yai, yen, I make a first night and I have a um, definite video. Bu best. I hope, like I said, I will see you in my next video. I will see you guys in my next video. And thanks for watching. Bye bye. Let us